Hey guys, this is Bo. Welcome back to yet another tutorial on how to play Life is Feudal. In this one, we're going to be covering how to smelt stuff. So obviously you went through, did a little tunneling, you found some ore, you mined that ore, you got at least 30 mining, and now you can smelt. So you built a furnace, but we need one tool that's pretty critical, which is a crucible and stick. It's a couple rocks and a stick, but you still got to make it. Otherwise, you ain't going to be able to pour... All the goodness. Okay, we got ourselves a crucible and stick. So in this case, we also would like to make sure we can equip it. So let's go and press T. I want to equip it. I don't know where it's going to equip. We'll find out real quick. Oh, okay, so it takes that pla one of those places. Okay, that's fine. I also am going to use a shovel for a moment because I got to get rid of some crap in my inventory. Yeah, because, you know, it's just how it goes. Let's flatten that real quick. What? There we go. Just get rid of that. Good. All right, now that I got my inventory sorted out, what you need to know about mining and smelting. So we made the crucible, critical for in order to make that work. Make sure before you start this thing, because when you look at it, when you go into the smelter, you'll see that there's this. I would suggest filling it about maybe 70 out of 100 worth, because you want to have room for lots of wood, because the wood will help you give a nice little barrier so that you don't get screwed, because... Uh, you want a ton of wood before you even start. I suggest, in this case, about 40. Because <laughs> uh, it will eat wood like crazy. And if you fail to feed it, it will make you start all the way from scratch. So don't do that. Inventory. Here we go. You have to feed the, the billets one at a time. And obviously these are billets. Go get yourself a tree. Knock it down. Put as many billets as you can fit in there. There you go. Okay, so let's light it. You need to get this thing up to 1500 degrees and keep it there. In order to get up there, you're going you're gonna to burn probably about four, three, four uh, wood, depending. And only after it gets to 1500 degrees will it begin to actually do anything. My suggestion, as always, is as soon as you get to those three, run to get another stack of wood and split it out like this. Now, we need to keep the bellows we're going. Basically, use bellows only when it drops below 1,500 degrees. If it's not at 1,500 degrees or this bright orange color, it will not do anything. As you see, there's a small little bar it's slowly moving its way up. And that is what you need to get all the way to the right before you can do anything. So just keep doing this. Um, again, keep your wood real close. So I dropped it over on the right here. Just grab that. And each time this is empty, grab another stack and just start jamming it in. The crucible is what's going to be really useful. Uh, so <laughs> as you can see from my dialogue, what the hell is a smelting tool? I learned that the hard way. I'd already tried this before. And I'm like, derp, got it all the way. My first problem was, how do I get this thing to be all the way like hot and then the next one was how the hell do I make make a freaking ingot I learned that quest that one real quick all right we still got some time but you gotta be fast you know definitely don't be don't go away <laughs> you know you gotta watch this thing otherwise it will go away from you which sucks sucks testicles for sure because if you just grab one log where it's like 10 and just think you're getting enough, no. Nah. As you see, we're almost damn near empty. Don't go by this. You need some time. Okay, here we go. Grab another stack. Here we go, 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 go. Excellent. Use those bellows, bitches. There it is. It's, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now, you probably could have done it with just a little bit, 
don't do it. I'm, I swear to God, dude, just don't even go for it. Make sure you got tons and tons and tons of wood on hand because you do not want to be sitting there with this, you know, with like one billet left. <laughs> and you're almost done. Here we go. Totally white hot now. Let's go to melt. What? I need to make it hotter. There we go. Now she's good. Let's go make some ingots. Autocraft. Yeah! Look at that, guys. We're good to go. Wow. I must be out of level. Oh, weird. Quick, 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 quick. Let's make sure we got enough room. Oh, okay, cool. Throw some more in there. All right, more wood, more wood. So again, that's how we did it. Oop, use those bellows, get that shit up hot. So we got ourselves three ingots out of that. That was pretty sweet. But again, it's really a delicate balance. You got a real delicate. See, I put it too much in there now. I don't have any room for more than a couple. That's not a good sign. So again, make sure you put about 70, maybe 70 in there, which I screwed up. So you have a little bit more time to put the billets in. So it's really a part, a, a dance. You know, you get these billets, you know, but <laughs> you can put more ore in there. However, you got to not screw around. Can't let that fire go out. <laughs> it's like game over. So if that was helpful for you guys, you saw the whole process for how to get your ore, how to process it, how to make it into iron ingots or bars or whatever you so desire. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you guys stick around to see some more of my tutorials. Uh, see ya.